London girls are like lollipops. London girls are like tropical fish in a frozen tank. They're really like gazelles. I don't know, here you can, for example, you can wear whatever you want. You know, in Brazil, no, you can't wear very short mini skirts or hats. You can't, and here, anything. Yes. You, you accept everything. Well, the clothes are more up to date down here. But they tend to be too, um, well, I don't know how to say it, but they, they always seem to wear the same up, up in the north. They don't bother to change, with, to get with it, so to speak. <laughs> I think there's a tremendous search for individuality, which in fact is making us all look exactly the same. Well, I think we're, because we're far ahead in the fashions now, you know, and people think of us as the swinging city, you know, because Carnaby Street started it off, and so you can walk anywhere now and wear anything you like. Yes. Well, uh, yes, I think that you, if you look around, you see lots of girls with short hair, and then in a week's time, they're all wearing freckles, and then the next week, they're all wearing the glasses on their heads or something different. And people now shop to buy dark glasses to put on their heads instead of on their noses. Instead of being told what to think by your parents, you're now told what to think by the magazines and the movies. But I'd actually live in Victorian England, and I don't really like London at the moment. All feminine women yes. respond to a certain amount of well, not necessarily sadism, but certainly the man being in charge of the situation. And I think that's as it should be, and I think that's as it always will be, even if we wear trouser suits every day and every night, and even if we work and earn as much money as the man. I think just instinctively that will be the way round, and it 